I'm now going to skin up a little farther up the skull here and uh, we'll leave the actual skull, the head, uh, in the skin and then we'll skin it out separate once we detach it from the body. And back on the tail area back there, um, what we did, we just went through the bone, severed it at a joint and the tailbone still left in. But once we get it over to the table where we can work a little easier, we'll pull the paws out, we'll pull the head out and pull that tailbone out. So right now let me show you how I go about taking this head off here. And you don't need a saw. A lot of guys want to use a saw. Um, what you'll end up doing is cutting the back of your skull. And you can take it off right at the joint. So I always like to, to do that on my deer, my elk, and everything. I, I don't ever use a saw for any of that. So what we want to do, this is the back of the head. You can kind of feel it right there. There's a knob right there. Well, stick our knife in here. Cut through the meat. All the way. I think you've seen us do this on some of the other skinning jobs that we did. We'll just go through like that. And you can kind of see here. I'm going to push around here where you can see it. See the joints right there. It's right inside here. It's right there. So, once we get this meat cut all the way through, just like that, we're just going to twist this head. We'll twist it and should get it to pop off. Let's cut through a little bit more meat here. I want you to be able to see this. See that joint right there. Just like that. And then we'll just uh, see if we can just get to twist and pop. There we go. So you can kind of see that joint right there. I just want you to see it before it detaches. Right there like that. Now it's mainly the meat holding on it. I just got to get the meat trimmed off here. And once we do that, it'll come right off. Just like that. Now there's the joint. We've got all the skull bone back here. And uh, we're good to go. So here's what we have. We have our skin. Our head's still in it. The paws are still in it. Now we'll go back and we'll start skinning these out. And get the lips, nose, ears turned. Get it all salted. And uh, we're ready for transportation. Well, we've got the bear all skinned out now. We've, we've, we've pulled the, the paws out of the, out of the foot. Um, we've, we've turned the lips and the nose and the ears. They're all turned. So now we're basically ready for our salting. And uh, uh, we've salted that bear with most of the salt. So we're just gonna show you what we're gonna use. We're gonna get some more salt here in a minute, but I'm just gonna show you with a small pile of salt. This is only maybe 10 pounds of salt there. On a bear of this size, this is a 200 pound bear you know, you're going to use a, at least a 50 pound bag of salt. So, and this is fine salt. You do not want to use rock salt. A lot of guys use rock salt and rock salt's a, a very hard crystal. Uh, I, I kind of look at it like laying marbles on a table. Uh, it, it only cures where it touches. The fine salt gets in every little crack and crevice and it really um, draws the moisture out and sets that hair and keeps it from, from rotting. So anyway, what we do is we'll just start going around and we want to rub this right out on the edges and try to get every every little little speck of salt and every under the corners and under the rolled edge, like this rolled edge here. You know, we want to make sure we get it out underneath there. Once you get the salt on there, um, it's going to really start to set set up the skin. Yeah, you'll feel the skin uh, will will have a a tougher texture to it, and it just stops any of the the blowflies that are flying around here. It just stops them. They don't they don't put maggots on it, and uh, this will start setting the hair. So we'll salt this down today. We'll let it set, oh, six, seven hours. Then we're gonna come back in and we're going to take this same wet salt and we're gonna start moving it around. Uh, and then tomorrow morning, we'll shake all this wet salt off, re-salt it again. We're pretty much good to go um, until we get back to the shop or get back to the taxidermist uh, with the skin. And as soon as we get back there, then we'll go in and finish our little detail flushing and salt it again and, and do our final drying with our salt. So salt, salt's important. Uh, be sure to take it with you, um, you know, on your, on your hunt. And as you can see, what I've done is, uh, I've laid out a tarp here. The reason I've done that is because any of the salt around the edges of the barrel where it goes out over the edges like this, and I slop it over the edges, I'm not gonna lose that salt. And what I can do is take this wet salt here, and when I shake this bear off on this tarp, if that salt's wet, all I do is just take that tarp and fold it up like an envelope, kind of hang it up, and kind of turn it and it will drain all the water out. 
or even let it set here on the tarp and, and uh, if you have a sunny day. And in an hour, hour and a half, two hours, that salt will all be dry again, ready to go back on the bear. You got brand new salt. So you can salt more than one bear with minimal amount of salt. Salt's important. Uh, make sure it's fine and don't be tight with it. Use a lot of it.